Hello and welcome back to Terraria. It has been a long time since I've been back here. And there's primarily two reasons for that. Number one, it's been very busy. I've been caught up with a lot of things and I've been behind on pretty much everything. But I've done a lot of hard work to get caught back up on that and I'm trying to get myself back into a schedule now. The other thing is, the last time we were here in Terraria... I beat the Wall of Flesh. I did it. It was hard. It was barely scraping by, but I beat the Wall of Flesh. And so, welcome to hard mode. Unfortunately, that means that we are in hard mode. See that guy? He's from hard mode. He's a wraith. They come right through solid blocks, which means that this place is not safe. And that's only the start of it. See, I went through and did a lot of work making sure that this was a nice place. It was a friendly place. I had homes for all of my NPCs. Everybody was happy. And then I beat the Wall of Flesh, which put me into hard mode. And the first thing that happens when you get into hard mode is it strikes your world with both the, the uh, hollow... And it allows the, well, either the Crimson or the Corruption, whichever world you're in, we're in a Crimson world, to start spreading. My world is screwed. So, for starters, it seems pretty nice here. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. So, what if we come down here to, oh my god, look at that. So this was the underground home for all of my NPCs. And as you can see, it has been completely taken over by the Crimson. It's no longer habitable. They will not live in the Crimson, and I don't blame them for that. So my tailor, my goblin, and uh, my, my dwarf, yeah, they're gone. Same thing if I come over here. Wait, no, not there. I come back here to... The, uh, the desert. The desert also completely taken over. It's gone. The only person still there, for some reason, is my die trader. And I don't know why he's still there. I literally cannot figure it out. So, that's gone. My Halloween house over here, completely taken over. Nobody was living there anyway, but uh, no one's going to live there now. And it's creeping up on here. This is also gone. It's uninhabitable. It's too close to the Crimson. So my painter and uh, who was the other guy that was there? It's been too long. I don't remember. But they're gone. So fortunately, my zoologist, since she's up in the trees, seems to be fine. She hasn't been affected yet. But yeah, they're gone. Over here at the, um, the jungle, the jungle is so far untouched. So far. And so I don't know what I'm going to do now. I have so many NPCs that are just up and gone. This used to be two columns. So, my goblin is still around. He moved in with the tavern keep. Now, the Tavern Keep, I had always imagined moving into the Hollow, because he likes the Hollow. And, we do have the Hollow over here. I've already been there. I made a house for the party girl. She's now living in the Hollow. Which is good for her. She likes it there. She's happy. I still have... Hmm, almost sneezed. That would have been bad. I still have my mechanic over here, with her dog. She's happy. The crimson over here is spreading in that direction, I think. But it's still got a ways to go. It's going to be a problem. Uh, it's always been close to this desert. It's getting closer. I don't know if it will go past this dungeon, though. I don't think the dungeon can be corrupted. So this may be safe-ish. And then, of course, we have the ocean, which seems to be okay. But I can only say seems because I don't know. I have already gone through and smashed altars, so my world has been populated with new metals. 
I think, I don't remember, but I think it has been populated with... Uh, what were the metals? No, not that. Hold on. Where's my notes? I do have notes. I believe that I have Cobalt, Orihalcum, and Adamantite. But I'm not going to know until I actually go looking for them. And so that's primarily what I plan to do today. I am going to try and gather some of these new metals. I am woefully under-equipped now. I thought that I was doing pretty good before. Yeah, that's, that's done. We're done with that now. I am now... Low on the totem pole once again. So I'm going to drink everything. And we're going to go take a look. I don't even know if the tools I have are going to mine any of this. Much less what I'm even looking for. Basically, we're starting the whole game over again. They said, at least this time we have a house. What is that? Is this something I'm looking for? That's cobalt! Look at that! That did not take long at all. I thought we'd have to look harder for that. Okay. That's a good start. This will probably be the easiest one to get, and it won't, or probably won't matter at all. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with these metals once I've got them. I just know that I can't do anything with them until I have them, and so here we go. Alright. You're new. Okay. Uh, that thing was ugly. Oh, and there's another one. Should I be worried about that? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. What is that thing? Oh, it's another toxic sludge. There's another toxic sludge over there. Why is there so much toxic sludge? What is that? Oh, it's another one of those armor things. Yeah, there's all kinds of new stuff here, and all of it is a lot stronger than I am. Another possessed armor. And there's the crimson. Yeah, it's awful down here. I did come down here once with uh, purification powder. I got purification powder from the, uh, the, the dryad, I believe. I tried. I tried so hard to clean all of this up. It's impossible. I have no idea how I am going to stop this. Now, I believe that there is a tool that I can get at some point that will help. It's like a, a big old super soaker that shoots purification powder. And I, I have no idea. I think that I need to get a new NPC. I think it's uh, an engineer. We already have a, a mechanist of some sort. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I know that I need that if I'm going to have any hope at all of reclaiming this. <sighs> Look at all of those spiders. I think that there is a new weapon that I can make 
with enough of these black recluses. It's some kind of spider staff. And that should be an upgrade to my imps. However, that would require me actually being able to... Stop that. To kill these things. And that's going to be easier said than done. Perhaps the ballista is a bad choice down here. And unfortunately, this uh, this flame staff thing, I think it's called the flame lash, is like the best thing I've got. Killing spiders. This is the quality content that everyone is here for. Uh oh, they're getting a little bit close. worked good. I've been maybe I've been neglecting my whips too much. Okay. That worked well. But as you can see, this place is awful. Not only is it a giant spider nest, it's a corrupted spider nest. I mean, what would it be like if you could fight the crimson and giant spiders at the same time? Now you know. And there's a worm. Alright, well that gives me lots of cobwebs. Is that useful to me? Probably not. Leave me alone. I understand that I just murdered a whole bunch of your, your spider friends. However, I'm very sorry about that and I'd like to leave now. <gasps> Wait, I just got souls of night? What can I do with that? That seems important. Oh, there is now a, a black recluse out there. You know, I wonder. Uh, no, not that button. Aha! Take that. Yeah, I can't reach out there with that. However, I can do this. That's right. Keep shooting them. Keep burning them. Oop. That was a bad idea. Keep burning them. And the sad thing is, I don't think I even have a guide anymore. Do I have a guide? No, I do not have a guide. Which means that I have no idea what I can do with any of these uh, these items. No one can tell me. Would you die, you persistent spider? Thank you. Skeleton archers? Well, at least with this flame lash, I can shoot around corners. Yeah, look at those things. Crimson ooze. 
Uh, I know what that thing is. A herpling? That sounds mildly offensive. Okay, um, my potions have all worn out. What is that? This head's awful. Everything down here is awful. And these tight quarters are not doing my summons any favors. Do I have any potions? Yes, I have a full complement of potions here. I can re-up on everything. What are you? A floaty something. You're floaty, alright. Look at how far the crimson has spread. And I am out of mana. I need to get more mana potions. I do believe I have a mana flower equipped. Yes. Ooh, I actually have an open slot right now. And I don't know why. So I need to get myself some mana potions so that I don't have to worry about running out of mana like I'm currently out right now. Oof. That's, um, not good. Why am I yellow? I don't know. Stop shooting me with that. Okay, I'm dying again. I'd rather not die. I haven't died yet so far in this one. Um, why do I have an open slot? No, let's put this necklace there. No? Why can't I put that necklace there? Oh, because I'm already wearing one. That's why. Uh, do I have anything else I can put there? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I get back up there. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Deranged poison staff? Where did I get this? Wait, so this deranged poison step does 56 magic damage. The flame lash only does 54. Plus this poisons things. I want to use that. I'll take it to the goblin later and let him tinker with it a bit. Does it work? It kind of works. That works better as a shotgun. However, I'll take a poison shotgun. like that you can go right through blocks. Because I can't. And that just screams ambush. Like that. And I'm dead. Well, that's off to a great start. 
Well, all right, let's uh, let's see if I can get some potions, so I'm not running out of uh, out of mana all the time. And let's find an accessory to put in that slot. I have a few. I don't know if any of them are any good. Uh, accessories. Uh, royal jellies. Yeah, not too terribly important. Sort this. This is ugly. So yeah, I've got some royal jellies. But I'm not running across too many slimes. Obsidian Rose reduces fire. Magma Stone. Melee attacks inflict fire. Unfortunately, my Flame Lash is summon damage, not melee damage. Otherwise, that would be tempting. I love the tagline. It goes to 11. Uh, is there anything else I can take? A Cobalt Shield? Immunity to knockback. That's kind of useful. Portable cement mixer. Yeah, not important. Uh, Brisk Nazar. Immunity to curse. I don't think I'm being cursed that much. Tally counter. Don't need it. Selfish boots. Don't need it. Tsunami bottle. Don't need it. Uh, precise brain of confusion. Temporarily increase critical chance after dodge. May confuse enemies after being struck. That could be handy. Uh, hard treasure magnet increases pickup range for items. That's... I, I like that idea. And that increased movement speed. You know what? Let's, let's take the magnet. Why not? Oh, we're already using a, a royal jelly. Which, honestly, might not even be necessary. Is there anything else that I can take? Uh, lucky Warrior Emblem? Yeah, that's not helpful. Obsidian Shield. You know what? Yeah, Obsidian Shield. Don't have to worry about too much fire, but... The Immunity to Knockback is pretty good. Alright, so we have some Cobalt. Um, I need to find a way to get a guide in here. I just need to. You! Get out of my house! Rude. Who is living here? Oh, it's my dwarf. Yeah... Wait, creating a grave for limbs? You are one twisted individual. Um. You know, for the time being, I may try to convert this room into something. I mean, why not? What's the worst that can happen? So, uh. Yeah, let's go to furniture. Let's delete this. I have some furniture I can use. So, let's... Where, where's my beds? Where's beds? Show me beds. Here we go. Bed. Uh, let's just put a bed... Wait, no. Stop it. Why am I still in this? Delete, delete, delete. Okay, none of that. No, get off of that. Why can I not move? Because I'm pushing the wrong button. That's why. Okay. There's a bed. There's a chair. I don't need that many. Okay. Uh, tables? Tables? Show me tables. There's a table. There's a table. And a candle. And since we're doing this, let's go all the way. Dresser. There's a dresser. And there's another candle. Alright, so. Uh, this was going to be my home and throne room, but since someone else kind of needs it more right now, we'll see who we can get. Now, NPCs show up at the morning, so... Let's sleep through the night and see who shows up.
What time is it now? It's 2. So, morning should be coming very soon. Is this going to be a suitable home, right? Housing's already occupied? By who? Who's occupying it? Um... Housing? Oh, the dye trader moved in. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure something out to get more NPCs in here. Perhaps I should make myself a bunker. So that everyone can live underneath the, uh, the arena here. Really, zombie? I, I, I have faced so much, so many nasty things you don't even rate. Okay, so, um, I did get cobalt, but I don't know what to do with it. And now that the die trader is here, I think that means that the desert is now completely unoccupied. How bad are things over here now? I mean, they don't look bad, but the crimson is literally right there. But I don't know if it can go through these trees, so maybe that'll be a natural block. But yeah, these, these houses, this housing is corrupted. I don't see anything corrupted in here. Oh. But yeah, I mean, the music says corrupted. The water is red. Nothing on this side says corrupted, I think. Although, is that red I see on the other side? Ooh, yeah. All the stone has been corrupted. And it's spreading. So, I think, um... God, I don't even know what to think. I need that that um, that big super soaker that purifies things. That's what I need. That's got to be my goal. I've got some cobalt. I don't know what to do with it, but I've got some. I think the first thing that needs to be done is I'm going to need to make some kind of bunker apartment complex thing. I'll work on that between episodes. I'll get my guide back in. I'll find out what I can do with this cobalt, and then I will put together a plan. It's about the best I can do. Because I've got this Ecor. I don't know what it does. Souls of Night. I don't know what they do. Bones. Got Spider Fangs. Can I do anything with spider fangs? Let's see. What are my options? <gasps> spider staff. Maybe I can after all. It requires 16 spider fangs. As well as a spider mask. See, I'm wearing obsidian armor. Four defense, six, and five. The spider mask is five. The breastplate is eight. The greaves are seven. I think I know what I need to do. It's time to go completely Spider-Man. So, as well as um, going through and building that apartment complex, I will go ahead and farm a few more spider fangs so that I can get all of this stuff. That requires eight. 
That requires 16. That requires 12. That's going to be a lot of spider fangs. Uh, cobalt bars is something we can make. Necro helmet, kind of useless. Strings, also kind of useless. So yeah. That is the goal for now. So kind of a shorter episode, not a whole lot happened, but we're getting back into this one way or another. I'm not about to give up. I beat the wall of flesh, I'm going to beat everything else. So, uh, look forward to the next one when we will have a much clearer definition of what we're doing. We're taking this world back. I am not letting it go. Look forward to that. Until then, take care.